already actually studying medicine in India, um, in the Punjab, but there was a lot of um, civil unrest there at the time. Um, and he met a Scottish professor who suggested that he might want to continue his studies in Scotland and um, off he went and the huge journey um, in 1919 to come to Scotland and to Dundee. When he came over to study at Dundee there's a great picture and he is the only non-white student in that picture in a class of about 80 to 100 students all studying medicine at the time. A teacher of mine at high school grew up in Dundee at the same time that my great-grandfather was working as a doctor and he, Jane T was actually the doctor that helped deliver him at birth. <laughs> so that was an amazing moment and just shows that he made a really long-lasting impression on those that he did meet. It was really like such a big thing that he came from India to Scotland and during that time um, the transportation services were also not that great and I can't even imagine how his process must have been to come here and his dedication is really commendable. So I'm actually so honoured to be receiving the scholarship because it's such a big thing for me.